Now, the Ginger's been slaying lawns for about 20 years now, and I've got some exciting news for you guys. I'm creating a space called the Lawn Masters Academy to help you at home be able to slay that lawn. The Lawn Masters Academy is designed to put a method to the madness of diagnosing your lawn. Whether you're a beginner lawn care person or an expert, there's something for you. I'm hoping to have the Academy up and launched in the next 30 days. If you want to get on the wait list, go to lawnmastersacademy.com and put in your email address. Now, drought stress dormancy comes in all shapes and sizes and this time of the year, it is a completely normal thing to encounter. Take for instance, this neighborhood that I'm at right now. Across the street, we've got aqua green grass. This lawn right here, we've got all these funny shapes and patterns going on that almost seems sporadic. Now the color in essence, is a little bit, has an orange tinge to it. Now drought stress starts when the grass starts going almost an aqua or dingy green color. It's basically screaming, help, I need water. And if you don't recognize this, you're gonna lose the majority of your lawn sooner than later. The patterns of colors in this lawn are a little bit different. You'll notice the color has both brown and orange. The orange color is typical of fertilizer burn, but that's not causation. And a lot of you guys get confused over how to tell the difference. Now you notice the patterns, almost a, a leopard print, spotted cheetah that's going on. These are the initial phases of drought stress dormancy. Now it's imperative we do a couple of things to verify if this is drought stress dormancy. Number one is a water saturation test. We want anywhere between six and eight inches of water saturation in the soil. Now I personally love using my AMS soil probe just to probe the soil and if I'm not getting a nice core plug with water in it, I know that that is causation. So this soil profile, She's got multiple types of soil on the lawn. This is just pure clay. And you can see it's just bone dry. There's absolutely no nutrients. And this is a little bit easier to see than the other one, but it's the same thing throughout the entire lawn. No changes, easy fix. So you'll see the soil probe is showing us that this has zero water in the soil. We know causation is lack of water. Now correlating factors are, it's burning the lawn a little bit with the fertilizer that they had put down. But again, that's correlation, not causation. Now, all you guys wanna know the repair. Repair is very simple. We're gonna flood it with water, but we need to put that six to eight inches of water back in the soil before we can just do normal regiments of water. Normal regiments of water are very simple. We're just replacing evaporation. So at this point, we don't even have water to replace out evaporation. We have to get ahead of it, which is why we're gonna water daily. Now I don't suggest flooding the lawn all at one time. I'm recommending to do a round robin. We're gonna do each zone for 15 minutes at a time four times in a row to push the water back in. Um, now drought stress dormancy comes in all shapes and sizes. You wouldn't believe it if I told you, but a week ago, this lawn was just about 80% brown and dead looking. It's looking much better. And the only thing that we have changed literally was the water. That's it. So today we're gonna be treating these little areas with Essential Plus 101. And here in another week, it's gonna look good as new. I like products like Essential Plus 101. That's my go-to. You can use RGS by Green County Furt or Revive Granular at your local Home Depot and it'll have similar results. Some, the liquids are gonna be faster than the granular. And within about 10 to 12 days, it's gonna be looking like a top. So when you're spraying it right, you're gonna know because especially when you hit these manholes, you'll see it's, it's glistening, but it's not wet and there's no dry spots on it. And that's how you know that you're spraying it correctly. I've got this flow zone backpack sprayer. So it's got some heavy, heavy output and I'm literally just keeping everything moist. 
I'm not oversaturating it. Now with a handheld pump sprayer, we want to focus on four ounces of product per 1,000 square feet of area with one gallon to two gallons of water, your choice. So, and again, these treatments are this simple. Just go through, just hit the problem spots. We don't really need to do the areas, but again, the manhole, watch. Boom, that's it. Day three results, drought stress recovery. Day 10, money. Look at this, one cut, no more dry spots. It's amazing. This is the worst that we got, but that material is dead. We just need to rake it out with a dethatching rake and it'll all come clean. But for the most part, these spots are gone. Look at that, all green materials. Everything came back. It's looking amazing. You can tell it's completely revived. Everything's looking like money. I've been telling people this for years, a little organic material and water will fix this in a fast way. But if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit me up down in the comments down below. You know I'd love to help you guys out. Till next time, guys, it's the Pest and Lawn, Gigi. We're slaying lawns.